Well, that didn't go as expected. Come on in and welcome to my home. Today, I'm doing a video which I thought would be completely different from what it was. Let's talk about the original video. The original video was my kitchen gadget video where I talked about how I was going to clear out my kitchen gadgets and show you how I store things in my kitchen. Okay, so the first thing I did was clear out all my stuff in my kitchen and you know what? I went through it and found out that there was a ton of stuff in my kitchen that I never used or shouldn't have even been there to begin with. I moved things out of my kitchen such as the bottles for brewing beer that really did not need to be in there. There was a better place to store them. I got rid of gadgets that I had not used in forever. I moved pans where they should be because that's what everything is about. You want to put things where they should be. The things which I use every day, I have a tendency to leave out on the counter, or if it's really, really heavy, such as my mixer, I leave that out on the counter. Uh, bread maker stays out on the counter, but other than that, the everyday things are out. So then what do I do? Well, let's go by cabinet by cabinet. Over the, my refrigerator, you'll notice that I have my jars, the canning jars and those sort of things simply because it's in an awkward spot and I really can't get to it all that easily without climbing over the refrigerator. So those are things that I don't get to all that often. Next to it is my baking cabinet. You'll notice that I have all of my measuring cups hanging, my mixer paddles are hanging, and I have everything sort of corralled. Those sweet things that sort of drip and get all sticky, I have them in a pan, so that way I don't have to worry about drips on the cabinets. Then I have my everything divided by spices, and herbs, and then up at the top is sort of a mixture of things. I have my baking supplies on one thing on one side and everything else on the other. It's really kind of simple. Next to that cabinet is my corner cabinet. Now, those of you who know me know that I absolutely hate corner cabinets. I find that the opening is too small, so what do I have in there? I just have my pot and a strainer. What will I end up putting in there? Don't know, because I really don't have a whole lot of things that I need to put in there. Next to that is my cabinet that I use mainly for doing my cooking shows. You'll notice that there are tons and tons and tons of containers and things that I use to put all of the mixtures of stuff in and the ingredients. They all come from that cabinet, and so I have it all stacked up with bowls and repeat items, and so that's basically what I keep there. It's a cabinet that I don't use that often unless I'm doing a show. Now over my microwave, that's where I have my tall canning jars and a few other assorted canning jars simply because I have put my lemonade in there and it's just really convenient. The cabinets are high enough that I can get the tall jars in there and I also keep the lids right there. Next to that is my measuring cabinet and also the cabinet where I keep my bottles that I drink out of. Yes, I have a bottle that I drink my water out of and it's a nice handy traveling bottle so I keep all of those there and I have a ton of them from my past job. I used to work where I would have not have access to filtered water all that easily so I had tons of those and I still have them. Now you're saying, well, why don't you get rid of them? Well, I have a tendency to actually use quite a bit, quite a few of them simply because I don't have to do dishes every day. It makes it that simple. Once again, another corner cabinet. This is where I keep my toaster and my tea items. That way, if I'm brewing tea, it's right there. Other than that, there's whole, not a whole lot there. Following that is my cabinet where I keep the stuff for my smoothies for each morning. This just has syrups and those sort of things, and that's about it. On the other side of that cabinet are the pans that I actually have a tendency to use during the week and those sort of things, because I do test out my baking in that item, so I do have baking pans and loaf pans and cake pans, because those things do get used. On the other side of that cabinet is the cabinet where I keep my blender jars. Yes, those jars are really handy right there. I'm so used to them being there. I could switch the two cabinets around, but when I'm doing a production, it is easier to have them that way. I don't know, just works out that way. So make sure that your arrangement works out well for you. Then I have my plates and glasses. Well, actually you'll notice that my glasses are missing because this summer I decided I would do something different and chill my glasses for summer. That's pretty cool. Let's talk about the lower cabinets. Starting back over at the other side, and like I said, I only have four drawers in my entire kitchen. 
On the top drawer is where I keep my silicone pads. It's a really handy drawer. keeps it out really nice and flat. Then I have my kitchen gadgets, which are laid in there as, a, as according to how often I use things. The ice cream scoopers and also scoopers for cookies. Then we have thermometers. It's just a general purpose cabinet. Then the final drawer has my strainers and my funnels. And I have lots of funnels because I like to put things into other containers, especially canning jars. So I have a tendency to use a lot of funnels. Now, the following cabinet is a blind corner cabinet. In that blind corner cabinet, which used to have a lot of stuff in it, it doesn't anymore because a lot of those gadgets I don't use. I do occasionally, very rarely, but I do occasionally use the coffee maker and the air popper. And then my other gadgets for my KitchenAid mixer are under there, but they also are things that I don't use. And because I am sort of tall, the lower cabinets are to me pretty useless because I don't want to crawl down on the floor to get to those. Next to that is my cookie sheet cabinet. Now that is where I keep all my cookie sheets and I have them in a nice little stand with my cooling racks. It just makes everything so easy and so wonderful. Under there I do have a large cutting board and I also have a large uh, trivet. Underneath my stove, which I don't really need to show you, are just the pots and pans simply because, well, I just keep my pots there under the stove. There's not a whole lot to that. It's just where they've always been, so I just keep them there. On the turntable, I do have my blender, which I could move my blender in a different spot, but it just is handy there, pretty used to it there. And I also have my food processor and the things that I use for my food processor. As you know, I make my own laundry soap. If you want to learn how to make your own laundry soap, hit that eye in the sky. It will take you to that day where I make my own laundry soap. I have those items right there. It is so easy, so handy, and not a whole lot else there. Underneath my kitchen cabinet, will be a whole nother episode. You'll get to see that at some point. But today is not that day because that is arranged a little bit differently and it's a little bit more intense and it's not a gadget kind of thing. It's more of a storage kind of place. Now, we do have the rolling cart that I do use for my shows. And what do I do on that? Well, simple. All of that is usually 100% used for just the items which I have a tendency to only use while doing one of the recipes for video. Yes, those are where I keep all of my clean and handy and pretty looking items and pull them out as I need them. Other than that, I have a tendency not to use anything underneath there. And like I said from the beginning, I do not have a ton of kitchen gadgets. It's one of the strangest things. Kitchen gadgets and I just don't seem to really go together because I think about the process of Will I actually use it? We can go back to the rice cooker where I was going to use it and ended up not using it. Or the infamous garlic presses and those sort of things. Now, other people love kitchen gadgets and they use them all the time. Me, it just doesn't work that well for me. What about you? Let me know down in the comments how you arrange your kitchen. Now, if you're looking for advice on how to arrange things, I will tell you that one of the coolest things that you can do is arrange things in this order. You want to have the things which you use, especially if you're in a drawer, as close to you as you possibly can. Then the things which you use uh, sporadically have those in the middle, then the things which you rarely use in the back. One of the interesting things that I do have is my knife drawer. My knife drawer is one of those cool drawers where I actually did do something interesting. I did have my knives just laying in there and every time I opened up my drawer they would slide to the back. So I just went to the dollar store and got plastic little containers. They, were th they just hold thin little things. I put those in there to hold the knives. And I just have the knives there so that the points are pointing that way and they are held upright. It keeps the knives from cutting me so I, that way I know where they are. And also it keeps them from sliding around in the drawer. That is a really handy thing. One of the things that you can do for your storage is to store things in plain sight. Leaving things out in the open is a great way to store them in a decorative way, but it also saves you the hassle of trying to remember what it is that you have. So let me know down in the comments how you arrange your kitchen. Is it hard for you? Are there other things that you would like to see me do? Now a lot of you are saying, well this isn't exactly the kitchen gadget arrangement or kitchen gadget storage idea that I had. And as I prefaced this to begin with, 
I have to go with the kitchen gadgets that I had. Cleaning out my kitchen was the big thing, and so cleaning it out was so easy, and once I cleaned it out, I just don't have that many gadgets. Now, if you do want me to do other videos where I show you how you can store certain gadgets, I'm going to have to get them. So this is where I always talk about why I have Patreon and use Patreon somewhere down in the description below. You'll see a link for my Patreon, so that way we can do those sort of things where I'm going to have to go out and buy the extra equipment. But we don't have to do that necessarily because we can go with what I have, and that's what's cool about YouTube, free videos and that sort of thing. And I love making these videos, and this is so cool, but let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.